Absolutely Raven. Hi guys, it's me, Absolutely Raven, and I'm back again with another video. And yes, you guessed it, it is Friday. Yay! And for my movie lovers, you guys are here to, because you clearly seen the title. And we're going to talk about another good movie that me and Bay watched. Um, and I am going to give my honest opinion. And we'll just get into it. Let me tell you how it was. You know, let me give you my take on it. And definitely want you to go check it out, regardless of how I explain it or whatever. If I liked it, if I didn't. All that good stuff. So just stay tuned. Oh, and if you haven't already and you're new here, I want you to just hit that subscribe button. Um, I like this video. And check out some more of my content that I have listed on the end of this video. We're not going to stay here too long. You know, we all got stuff to do and we got movies to watch, of course. And it being a weekend, let's just get into something new and good to watch. So, let me give you my honest take on this video. Okay, so we know you're here because you read the title and you see the thumbnail and all that good stuff. So, yes. We're going to talk about the new movie that I watch, of course, on Netflix, which is called End of the Road. And let me give you my honest opinion about End of the Road. Child. First off, it has Ludacris and Queen Latifah in it. Um, I don't know the other characters' name because they're younger and they're new and up and coming, but... Those are the main two characters that I actually recognize. And I really thought, you know, seeing Queen Latifah on the cover, this was going to be a great movie. That was my initial reaction. When I saw the movie, it was another thing. The movie, the movie was a no for me. It was a no for me. I'm not even finna, we not finna sugarcoat it, cut corners or nothing else. It was a no. The acting was mediocre. The concept idea was like predictable and almost as if you've seen it before. Um, I could kind of get with the movie and try to get into some parts, but then it was something that would blow me and it just would be like, girl, no. Ludacris, no. I, I expected more from you guys. No. <laughs> But, uh, it was, it was just, you know what I think it was? It was cheesy. It was like hall, a Hallmark thriller. If, if Lifetime made a horror movie, that would be it. Okay? That would be it. Um, no. It was a no. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it, but it was a no. Like, I didn't like some of the corny, cheesiness acting from Ludacris. Um, I never felt like these characters were really, like, relatable. And it didn't fit them. So, I don't know. But, all in all, overall... The whole idea of the movie and just to watch it for yourself please go check it out like I told y'all last week check out the movie regardless of what I think and let me know um, I don't want to give too much away because I want you to watch it I appreciate all your comments from last week and I'm glad that you liked my commentary about it um, which is why I'm back here um, I just give a brief overview. It's like um, basically a newly single mother having to find her own way. And that's another thing. Like the storylines just was not sticking like they were supposed to be sticking. It did, just didn't make sense. But anyway, and so they have to take this necessary road trip because of the situation that they're in. And the kids are being more so... Um, trying to pull back and not want to do it um standoffish about it very mad about it entitled almost 
and the mother is just trying to do the best she can would be in probably a little bit more and then they have the trusty sidekick of an uncle who is making it even hard, 10 times harder on the mama and then we, they run into these series of events that cause them to almost not make it to their destination child that's how that's how this whole story should have just went. Like, I should have just told the story. But anyway, y'all tell me what y'all think about it. Let me know in the comments. Like last time, I enjoyed you guys. And I would love to hear what your feedback is. And if you have any other movie suggestions for me. Um, because, you know, I, I'm, I'm a binge watcher. I love Netflix. Um, and I am still coming back to let y'all know what's been taking so long. But I don't want to give up on our Friday nights because I, I, I know y'all like that. So I'm here for it. And I got to go do my hair because I'm looking crazy. But anyway, thank y'all again. Love you guys. You guys be beautiful because you all are beautiful people. And I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.